Welcome to day eight of Vlogmas. It is actually pretty late in the day today. It is 4.30 and I just made myself some ramen. Not really my lunch, it's like an early dinner. I'll probably like have a, like some dinner later. Um, but yeah, I kind of had like a weird food schedule today because I had some bad allergies earlier and I just did not, obviously did not feel like filming, did not, um, wasn't really doing anything worth filming. This weekend, I actually plan on going Christmas shopping a little bit for my brothers and then for my fiance. I guess I should get some stuff for my dad too, since we are going down there and we will be all together, which will actually be a very fun time. So I will be doing some Christmas shopping this weekend. And like I said in yesterday's vlog, this weekend I have to film. It's my last recipe that I'm filming for the baker company for the year and it's going to be a, a french toast breakfast casserole and I'm really looking forward to it. It should be pretty easy and um, pretty delicious too. So I'll definitely have to go grocery shopping again probably tomorrow but I just made myself some ramen like I said and it's been kind of just cooling for a little while. Um, basically I added in some broccoli and then I saw this trick. I have no idea if this helped, honestly. I feel like it kind of did, but I saw this trick where if you crack an egg into vinegar for like 10 minutes, maybe I didn't, maybe it's not 10 minutes. Maybe it's like supposed to be a lot longer than 10 minutes, but if you crack an egg into vinegar, before you poach it, the vinegar is supposed to help like um, kind of cure it a little bit and make it so it doesn't get all lacy um, and the egg whites don't just like kind of spew everywhere into the water like a lot of times egg whites do in poached eggs if your eggs are old. But I think it worked because it honestly like they held together pretty well. And so I made a poached egg and then I just put some of the chicken on that I cooked up the other night that was like extra chicken breasts and I put that on top and just let it kind of warm up from the hot ramen broth. And then of course I topped it with kimchi because you have to. It's honestly not that much later, but I got a little bit of work done and I was thinking that since I remember to do it, I'm like trying to do it when I remember so that way I don't put it off and forget, but I'm going to be doing my advent calendar now. Today is December 8th. I kind of liked doing it yesterday where I showed you guys first. So that's what I'm gonna do again. I'm gonna take a, is it upside down? I don't know. I'm gonna guess. So to me, oh, it's soft. Okay, it's a soft cheese. I don't wanna say it's mozzarella. I really, I wonder if it's like um, just normal Gouda. I honestly have no idea. Oh, goat cheese. I think I really want to get a cracker for this because if it's goat cheese, then I'm going to want to spread it, I think. We're going to try it on this poppy and pepper cracker, which I actually really like these. Mm, this one's good. This isn't like your, like it's not, so the goat cheese that I am used to is I'm sure the one that most people are, which is Chev which is like really soft and crumbly. This is definitely not chef. It's like nutty. It's still soft, but it's not like, it's like medium soft or like, you know, it's not like crumbling apart. This is good. There's like a, like a Parmesan. It's like the nuttiness is really good. With the cracker, are you kidding? I'm gonna let's see. So good. That one is my top. 
That one's definitely been the best one through the whole month. Day eight is ranking on top. Happy Saturday. It is about 8.45 and I just made myself a cup of coffee. I have actually been meaning to, for like a couple weeks, make some brown sugar simple syrup because I just felt like it, but also because my fiance is starting to drink coffee and he likes sweetener in it. And so I just thought it'd be easier to make syrup. So that's what I just did a few minutes ago. Today I have to go to the grocery store to pick up the ingredients that I need for my recipe that I'm filming. And then also just to pick up a few things. I know I went to the grocery store earlier this week, but I think I said it in that video. I wasn't getting like, it wasn't like our full like main grocery shop because it was a Wednesday morning and I was like kind of, you know, crunch for time. And I just wanted to get the few things that I knew we, needed and today i'll go and get some other things i have not had breakfast yet i was hungry earlier and we actually went to walmart a little bit ago because we just needed to pick up some band-aids honestly um and i was hungry around then and then it kind of went away so i'm gonna do some searching online and see if there's anything that can inspire me um or something that sounds like good for breakfast to make that I have on hand. Oh, maybe I'll do a Peloton ride. So I'll probably have breakfast and do a Peloton ride or vice versa and then get ready for the day. I just finished up my Peloton workout. Felt really good. It's actually been probably a couple of weeks since I've been on the Peloton. So it felt good to just get back on and just kind of ride. No goal really, just like ride. I, I wanted to ride for 30 minutes basically, but that was it. Like I didn't really have a, um, I wasn't doing a class, I was just riding. But I felt really good. Feels good to get my heart moving or my heart pumping and my body moving. I'm gonna go make something for breakfast and then hop in the shower and get all dressed and ready for the day. I don't know about you guys, breakfast is always a really hard meal for me to decide like what I want to eat. I have such a hard time pinpointing like what sounds good and it takes me a really long time to decide like what I actually want to make. So now that I've decided, I'm gonna make like a scrambled egg hash brown bowl. Um, Cause I had something like this a few weeks ago when we went out to brunch, it was like, hash browns and scrambled eggs, caramelized onions. I think there was even sausage gravy in. I'm not gonna do it all crazy like that. Gravy would be so good on it though. Oh, we have bacon. This might be like a breakfast breakfast.
onion is from my garden. This is like two and a half feet, and it's not even the whole thing. So I just made myself some breakfast, which I'm going to eat now. Um, pretty excited about it. We shall see how it is. This is so good. I'm honestly, I'm kind of surprised. I, I didn't really think it was going to be like this good. The last what was the last thing I did? I'm gonna take my glasses off. So I ate breakfast, which was so delicious, and then we got a text that our internet went out, um, which would be fine, except it says that it might not be fixed for eight hours, which it's like 1 p.m. almost. We got the text like maybe 30, 40 minutes ago, so that could be like not until like 8 or 9 p.m. And that just throws like kind of some wrench in my plans because I was gonna go to the grocery store and before I go grocery shopping, I like to go online and look at the websites and see what's on sale and try and plan ahead based on what is on sale. And I was also gonna be doing some research for the recipe that I'm filming, just kind of getting some good ideas and a little bit of the science behind the custards and stuff like that. So that kind of messed that up. Um, so I decided that I'm gonna go out to TJ Maxx or Marshalls and look for some um, clothes or something for my dad and my brothers, um, just get some shopping done. And hopefully by the time I'm back, it will be fixed. I don't know if that <clears throat> that will be the case. And if that is, then I might just have to go to like Starbucks or I might just have to like raw dog the grocery store and just like pick things up. Um, on a lighter note, I made myself an iced coffee so I can at least have something fun to drink on while I'm out. That's pretty good. And I made it with the um, brown sugar syrup that I made earlier today. Okay, so let's go ahead and get going to TJ Maxx. So turns out I left my AirPods at home. I have no idea how because I thought they were like in my hand when I was walking out the door. So I don't know, maybe they're like underneath me, but I am at TJ Maxx now. It's so crowded here. It's actually insane. Um, and I forgot it's actually near a Barnes & Noble, which I've been wanting to go to Barnes & Noble for a while. So I might pop in there as well. So I just got done at TJ Maxx and it was so crowded in there. I knew it was gonna be crowded, but it was actually like insane. And the aisles are so thin cause they like put a bunch of tables out too with all the extra like gift baskets and like gift boxes and gift sets that come out this time of year. So it was like super crowded in there. But the line actually was not too long, which was really nice because usually TJ Maxx, the line is insane if it's gonna be crowded like that. So I just got two things for our little baby niece. Um, and then I got two shirts for my brother. And now I'm gonna just drive over to the other side of the parking lot and go into Barnes and Noble and see if I can't pick some things up for my other brother. Maybe find something for my dad. Hi guys, so it's actually the next morning. Um, 
essentially after I got home yesterday, I just did some stuff around the house. There was really not much to do for me to be able to do anything. Um, I did not go grocery shopping yesterday because I don't, I don't like going grocery shopping without being able to look up what's going on sale and like being able to prepare. And our internet was literally out until I think like 3 a.m. So we kind of just hung around the house yesterday. I did some laundry and picked up some things, um, you know, around the house, but we went to Target last night to pick up a few gifts for our nephew, but other than that, not much went on. But I wanted to do a quick little haul of the things that I got yesterday when I went Christmas shopping for my family, because um, I know that they will not be watching this, so it's fully fine for me to um, do a haul. So, for my dad, I got this book by John Grisham, which is my dad's favorite author. And it is just basically like a law book. He writes a lot of um, like true crime and you know, books that like are from the attorney's point of view and stuff like that. So this one's based in Florida. Um, and I thought that my dad would like this. I think it's a fairly newer release so i don't think he's read this one yet it's called the whistler then for my oldest brother i got this book which is called flowers for algernon this is a book that we actually read when i say we i mean myself and my class we read in eighth grade in english class and i think it was just an excerpt but I remember it being like a pretty sad book and it kind of impacted a lot of us. And my brother in the last year or two recently sent a book that we had both read for English class previously called The Stranger. And I think that he read this one as well. And I think he'll like this. So I went ahead and picked up Flowers for Algernon for him. Then for my other brother who is also older than me, he asked for just some clothes so he could go, you know, some nicer clothes to go to church in. So I just picked up this, um, what is it? Colored shirt. And it's like got textured stripes in it. I kind of like that it had some, um, it had a pattern, but it wasn't like a different color, but it's a like textural pattern. So I got that and this is, what's the brand? Tahari, which I think is like a pretty typical TJ Maxx brand, honestly. And then I got this one, which I like the color of it. Um, a nice Izod, same thing, just a collar button shirt. Um, and yeah, so that's what I got for my brothers and my dad. And then for our baby niece, picked up this little Play-Doh set. It's like a pizza oven, pizza maker set. And I thought that it would be so much fun. I remember loving playing with Play-Doh as a kid. It was like probably my favorite activity. And I obviously love cooking. And so I would like to share that a little bit in a certain way. So I bought this fun little Play-Doh set and then this little like movie night play toy, you know ice cream cones and like just pretend stuff like that. So so yeah, that's everything that I got yesterday when I went out Christmas shopping. I just wanted to say, I hope you guys enjoy this episode of Vlogmas. Feel free to like or subscribe to my channel if you want to see more from me. Definitely thought that this vlog would have more content to it, but then like, you know, life happens and things don't go as planned, but I promise in the next vlog, there will actually be some good kitchen baking grocery stuff again. So if that is what you're interested in, definitely stay tuned for that. I hope you guys have a good one and I will see you guys in the next vlog.